So, this is a cuvette holder or cuvette rack. Uh, super useful if you are doing experiment with the fluorescence, UV, DLS, you want to have multiple cuvettes in a single place and you don't want to tip them over. How much do you think this should cost? If you say a few euros, you will be factually correct. This is just a piece of plastic, it's injection molded and it's cheap to produce. And the material is probably uh, polypropylene, so not even that expensive. But the point is that if you are in a the lab, they will sell you this piece of plastic for a price between 10 euro and 30 euro. Like this. <laughs> Even my favorite shop for cheap stuff, uh, it still costs between 10 and 13, 20 euro, which is kind of weird. Now, you can buy 10 of those, or, for the same price, you can buy a 3D printer. And, wait a minute, I can actually 3D print those. I will show you how to do it in a few seconds. On Tinkercad, it's a free online program for 3D design. There are two main things that you can do on Tinkercad, and one is fusing two different solid. So if I select and I click group, this is now one solid and the other things that I can do, if I'm using a whole shape, I can subtract one from the other. So again, I'm selecting, I'm grouping them and now I removed one from the other. That's, those are the two main things that you can do in Tinkercad. So how to design um, a cubit holder. First of all, what I will start is designing the holes itself for the cubit. This one should be 14 millimeters and 14 millimeters. This is the size of the hole for the cubits. And another thing that I want to do, I want, I don't want to have the sharp corner. I want to have something more like this for example 0 0.8 so that the corners are not that sharp just because i like them then this is one cuvette i want to copy and paste i want to have 10 cuvettes in my holder so what i'm going to do first of all i'm putting a ruler for checking the distances here and then i'm aligning this one to the ruler so if you see this one and this one and this one are the size of this block and in the green one is the distance between this object and the ruler. So, so far I want to put this one at zero, zero, like this. And then I want to copy paste five of those blocks um, in line. So I'm going to do this. I'm going just to press copy and I'm moving this one. Uh, let's say that I want to have one centimeter between one and the other. So the distance should be 24 and this is it. Now, if I keep pressing this button here, duplicate and repeat, it will keep the same distance. So one, two, three and five. All right. Then the other things that I want to have, because I want to have 10 cubettes in this holder. I'm just control C, control V, paste them and put somewhere more or less here. So I can put them in line, but then um, my fat finger will not reach them. So I have a problem with that. I want to put in the middle so I can easily pick them up singularly. This looks nice. I'm just doing it by eye because this doesn't really matter. Okay, those are my cuvettes. I can remove the ruler. I can select them all, make them whole. And another thing that I want in my design, I want to have a couple of millimeter for the holder. So I'm selecting them all. And with this 
button here I can raise of two millimeters so now this if I click here I can see how far away are from they are from the build plate so they are two millimeter high from the build plate it's fine now I want to have my real holder so I will put this one exactly in line with this and exactly in line with this so this is how the older should look like and at this point I want to have let's say two or three millimeter more on each side so I'm just increasing the size here the size here and the last one will be this side Now, how big should be the hole? Um, I think I will go for one centimeter because I don't want to risk to scratch the cuvette when I put it inside. So it shouldn't be in, in the region where the detector is. So if I'm clicking here, I remember that there are two millimeters here uh, for the cuvette, for the bottom. So this one should be 12. and other things that I want. Again, I don't want sharp corner because it doesn't look nice. Uh, let's say, let's go for one. This looks nice. The only things that it's left to do, it's selecting them all and click on group. And here you have your cuvette holder. Now, if you feel fancy, you can also modify it with your own logo. So, for example, I can go on text. I can write my text. Let's write VS. I can turn this one of 90 degrees. I can resize it a little bit. To fit my holder, I can just move it to check where it should be. more or less okay the other thing that you can change is a snap grid so every time I'm making a movement now it will move of one millimeter if I want to move it a little bit less I can snap the grid of for example 100 microns so 0 0.1 millimeter this give me, uh, gives me a little bit more control of what I'm doing let's say that I want it here or actually I can show you another thing I can select them both and then I can go to align now if you click align um, they are <coughs> those points are uh, for aligning them in different ways so if I click here they align them on this direction so now this VS is aligned perfectly on this direction and if I click on this one, it's aligned on the Z. So now they are perfectly aligned. <clears throat> and naturally, the other things that I want to do is the, to make this one hollow. Select again both and group them. And this is how it looks like.
which I will say it's perfect. Well, perfect. It's good enough. So I click on this one, I export, and I export this as STL. Saved. Now let's go to Cura and slice it there. All right, this is Cura. So for um, slicing it, I'm putting my design here. I want to turn it just because I have a camera that will record the process. And as this one doesn't have any uh, weird feature, I can also go for um, a rough profile. So rough profile means that it's um, making layers of 20, 280 microns, which for this design is more than enough. I'm just checking my other uh, my other variables uh, for this material that I'm using 190 is more than enough. I'm using PLA. Uh, print speed is fine. Retraction cooling is fine. Support. Okay, everything is fine. Then I slice it. Four hours, 40 grams of material. I save it. Uh, give it holder. This is saved and then I'm just sending it to the printer. So now it's uploading, uploaded, and let's print it. Okay, see you in four hours. And back here, printer, your beautiful cuvette, 40 grams of PLA cost more or less 1 euro. Uh, you can print it with less in fill for having a cheaper price, but usually I want them to so this is pretty indestructible. Shaking test. Okay, they are pretty stable. And once more. I think they are pretty stable and this is something you want. And also the other nice thing is that you have one free space for your thumb, so you can move like that. Okay, the design works. And the beauty of 3D printing your cuvette holder is that you can customize it. So if you want to have five cuvettes, you can do it. If you want to have 50, you can do it. If you want them to fit in one of your drawer, now you can do it. And that's pretty impressive, because now you can do whatever you want. Um, I hope it was helpful. And if you have something that you need for the lab that you can 3D print, but you don't know how to design it, just be in touch. See you next time.